right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 5.30 in the morning, it's still pitch black outside. You may be wondering why the hell am I up this early on my bike? Well, heading over to 113, Cal or, or Fridge. Post Star Lake's coming, we got two of them, and they're rather close to each other. And I'm just curious to see what's on them. So we got one in Sacramento about now, probably on its way to Davis, so I'm gonna get over there as fast as I can. We're gonna go catch it. We'll see you guys there. Hey pal, there's a train coming. My advice to you, Skirch. Yeah. Skirch, go. On with you. On with you. Go. Go. There's a, there's a train coming, cat. Go. Okay. Just showing that cat off the track so it can get hit. Alright. And this is my bike that I used to get here. And it looks like I made it here in good time. We got our green light. It's hard to see, but it's back there. Alright, uh, pay attention over there, we'll see what happens. So as of 5.50, our train still seems to be there at 0.1 miles an hour, so it should be leaving. I am looking east right now. I got, we, get, we do have the green light shortly down west. East, I'm not seeing any lights yet. My guess, I mean, I thought it was Almost here. Uh, so just saying this, I'm glad I underestimated. Hopefully that kitty. Oh, I think I see the kitty over there. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to keep updating, and we'll give you a heads up when it's on its way. Right. Change of plans. Seems like we got a capital corridor coming. Hard to see, but it's down there. You yeah, have this nice sun rays, which I rarely see. So it's on its way. It looks like we got an F-59 leading, I think. Um, those are the ones that they've had for about 20, 30 years now. All right, well, I'm gonna assume it's coming on that second track. We got ourselves as a green light. So yeah, the, turns out that Coast Starlight is like really early, so it's chilling in Sacramento for a bit. Um, so it's not to be too early, Well, somehow that's a thing. All right, well, it's on its way, so we'll see you when it gets Here's here. Here's something a little unusual for my pleasure. Look at that, we got a yellow light down there. It's hard to see, but it's right, it's, it's there next to the green one. I don't think I've ever seen that on this line yet. Uh, I guess it's caution for that Coast Starlight that's going to be coming on this first track. But my guess is that one's at Tremont. No. Well, yeah, maybe around there. Probably getting to Robin. So we're going to go ahead and get ready. <clears throat> now this time it's actually coming. Seems like we got a green light this way too. Oh my. Wow, are we seriously gonna have three catches today? It looks like we got a Union Pacific 
coming as well. So we got three trains today. No way. That's sick. That's sick. Holy crap. All right. That's cool. Well, not also just for my catching pleasure, but I hope this one has some, this train has something interesting, like a heritage unit or something, or like an old Southern Pacific on it. It's unlikely, but uh, I have this app called Heritage Units and it tracks basically stuff like that. And I want to try reporting something. So, not just for my viewing pleasure, but I, I want to try reporting a locomotive. So, I'm hoping this is going to have something interesting. Hope, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I'm actually going to go move to the other side. So, I think I can get a better catch. short but, but sweet all right i'll take it i'll take it nothing interesting but you know still a good catch as the sun rises let's check in with our capital or no coast starlight and we have yet again a green light i'm kidding for this track Cool. All right, stay tuned for California's effort. No, stupid. Coast Starlight, I'm dumb. All right, well, we got Dixon Police over there. He just had his lights on for somebody. Cop is on its way back. Just in case he wishes to stop and have a chat with me. Oh, he's having a chat with that lady right there. Oh, wait. Letting her know she can't be here. And he's probably going to stop and have a chat with me, actually. Well, he is. Alright. Maybe. Oh, oh, what's he doing? Alright, he may be having. Okay, he's going to have a chat with me. Alright. All right, that's fine. I'm, I can do that. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. What's going on, man? Uh, we got a call. Were you walking up and down the tracks? Um, just mainly checking the trains, sir, because, you know, I was, you know, I filmed trains and, you know, yeah, I was just checking. I was not playing on them, though. Okay. We yeah. just got to call that you're walking. We just want to make sure that you understand how dangerous oh, yeah. they can be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That. Absolutely. Uh, so if you do, you film them, you said? Yeah, I do. Okay, do you take pictures and stuff? Yeah, that's basically what I do, you know. Do you have any cool photos you've taken of them? Yes, yeah, yeah I, I go to the Dixon High. How do you like Dixon High? 
It's pretty good school. Pretty good school. You like it there? Yeah. Play any sports or anything like nah, that? Nah, no sports yet. Oh, yet? What sports do you want to play? Uh, not really too sure just yet. Okay. Awesome. Well, this is our newest officer. He's almost right. the same age as you. Nice. Uh, this is Officer Schwab. He actually went to Dixon High as well. Nice. So he could tell you all the cool things about it. All right. This is Mr. Preston. He's, he takes photos of trains. Okay, gotcha. So okay. I'm just telling him that I won't go past the yellow lines or anything like that because right. they come very quickly. Do you need anything from us today, Preston? No, we, no I think I'm pretty good today. All right. And now, are you on your way to school or are you just out and about right now? Well, I think today's uh, Labor Day. So. Oh, it is. A holiday, so it's so you're just out and about then? Yeah, mainly. All right. Your uh, parents know where you're at? Oh, yeah, I let them know. And all that. Reason, they're good to go. All right. But like I said, just be careful. These trains come at a very, very fast yeah. rate. Yeah, you're talking 70 miles an hour where they go through here. Yeah, so you probably know more about trains than I do. Yeah. So just be careful, okay? Yeah. All right. All right. No problem, all right. man. Oh, yeah, you're going Amtrak. You said it comes through almost at 85. Yeah. So. They do indeed. All right. You have anything for him, Sarge? All right. All right, Preston, have a good day. All right, thank you guys for your service. Appreciate you. Thank you. Wow. Well, all right then. So he said not to go by there. Right there, okay. All right, we'll keep that for future reference. You know, I appreciate I appreciate these guys coming by, you know. I guess, I guess that's why he was flagging the crossing. He was looking for me. Wow. I mean, I, I'll say this. I do appreciate people's concern. I do. Um, I do. I'll, I'll say that. I, I do appreciate everybody's concern, but I think with a camera out and uh, and a tracker, I think I'm okay. But you know, they want to be safe, and you know that's fine. I'm fine with that. You know, these these people need to be respected. And respect is what they are going to get. All right. Well, I'm going to chill out. Okay, wow, that was a bit of a shaky experience, but that's okay. That is okay. All right. Let me just, let me just explain a little bit about what just happened. Uh, that was a pretty interesting experience. Uh, this is not, and surprise, just to surprise you, this is not the first time something like this has happened to me. Um, this has happened many other times. Um, you know, shortly after that, ma that manifest went by, um, a guy, I'm not going to get too much into detail, but a guy in his car, uh, pulled up into that trucking parking lot right there and he, he rolled down his window. He's like, Hey bud, you okay? And I'm like, yes, sir. I'm fine. Thank you for checking. And he's like, he, he looked at a little interesting. Uh, he had an interesting expression on his face. He rolled up his window and went on his way. Um, and you know, I figured I would go kill some time whilst I wait for, in fact, I think I see it now, um, whilst I wait for the Amtrak to come through, and I see the, the, the officer over there checking at the crossing, and I'm like, oh, he's probably looking for somebody, or just making sure nothing, you know, nothing's sus about the signal, um, so I go back, and the officer, the same officer's coming back. He's telling a lady, and I, I could just tell by the way he was creeping up, that uh, he, he was going to have a chat with me. This is not the first, now like I just said, this is not the first time something like this has happened. So about three years ago, I was, filming the, I was filming a malfunctioning signal in Davis, and some Karen lady thought there was actually a train coming. And she's like, get out the track, get out the And you know, the only reason why I was on the tracks was to indicate to the audience... I, I don't I don't even know where that footage is now. It's probably long gone, unfortunately. But I was showing the audience, hey, there is no train coming. This is a malfunctioning signal. And I was gonna report it. And then I see Dave's police come up to me and say, Hey Bout, you can't be you can't be filming here, man. You, you can't be filming here. It's railroad property they were working and I'm like Eh, whatever, you know. I, you know, I understand people concerned, but you don't have to be a Karen about it. The lady was like, Yeah, the train is taking and I'm like, the signals are malfunctioning. Well, what, no, no. All right, well, and then there was one time in Virginia. I was out in Virginia. I wasn't really, I wasn't, I wasn't filming any trains, but 
what I was doing was checking out the creek because this is where my grandmother lives and there's a little creek not too far away from my grandmother's house. So I was checking there. It was, you know, it was quite cold. So I was walking since there's no sidewalk on the street. So I was just casually walking on the bike lane. You know, I see this white SUV come at me. I'm like, okay, he's just normal person. And then I see all the antennas on it. And I'm like, oh, that's a police officer. And I see him turn around, put on his lights. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap. And I, I remember exactly how he said it. He's like, hey, buddy, how you doing? Not like that, but he's like, hey, buddy, how you doing? And his nice southern accent. I'm like, well, I told him what I was doing. I'm like, you know, I live right over there. And he's like, all right, well, I walk. I quickly walked over there. He closely followed behind and uh, indicated to my grandparents what was happening. And they were like, eh, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Oh boy, all right, well, all right, well, that was interesting. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead. Amtrak is literally right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready yet again. I'm probably not gonna get as good as an end shot uh, just cause I am gonna take the guy's word for it from now on. Hopefully, I'm, I'm not gonna go past these first set of signals right here. Um, he said the yellow thing, but I'm probably not gonna go past the first signal. All right, well, Amtrak's coming. We're gonna get ready and we'll see you then. Oh, crap. Oh, whoa, whoa. Malfunction. Okay. But as good as an end shot I'm getting today, folks. Alright. I think that's enough trains for one day with that experience. I think I'm gonna head out now. Alright, that was pretty cool though. I got three great catches. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go home and upload this now. Oh my gosh.